Good afternoon. Our first item of business today is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader is the very Reverend Dr Lorna Hood, OBE, Chair of Remembering Srebrenica, Scotland. Thank you, and thank you for the opportunity of leading this time for reflection. Tomorrow evening, the charity which I chair, Remembering Srebrenica, Scotland, will hold a memorial event for White Armband Day here in the Parliament, only the second to be held in Scotland. Just 50 years after the Nazi decree that required Jews to wear a yellow Star of David, members of an ethnic or religious group were once again marked for extermination, this time in Bosnia. Having taken over the municipal government by force, Bosnian Serb authorities issued a decree on local radio ordering all non-Serb citizens, mainly Muslims, to mark their houses with white flags or bed sheets and to wear white armbands when leaving the house. It is but one facet of a story of genocide, gender violence, struggle to find justice, and hopefully one day reconciliation. Supported by Scottish Government, we have taken about 100 people to Bosnia, including a number from this parliament. We go to hear their stories, grieving mothers who cannot rest until their loved ones are identified, rape victims living with the stigma, too ashamed to talk, receiving little support or help in their struggle for justice. We listen, we weep with them, and we promise to tell their story and to work here in Scotland for a better, more cohesive society. I'm often challenged about our relevance here in Scotland. We assume that the genocide in Srebrenica, the mass rape and torture were simply the consequences of a deeply divided society. Yet nothing could be further from the truth. People living in villages and towns worshipped together, celebrated with one another. Yet almost overnight, neighbours became enemies and friendships turned to hatred. The fact that it happened there is a sober reminder that it can happen anywhere. Genocide does not happen in a vacuum. But when the seeds of prejudice and racism are not checked and challenged, but allowed to flourish. When we tolerate sexist or racist language and behavior as being just talk, not to be taken seriously. When we turn our heads as others are mocked and worse still, attacked. My Christian faith as lived out in the life of Jesus speaks of our shared humanity, always seeking to find that which connects us rather than that which divides us, whatever our faith or none. We learn the lessons from Srebrenica, pledging to be vigilant against hatred and intolerance so that as the pr prayer in the Memorial Center pleads that Srebrenica never happens again to no one and nowhere. Thank you.